Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Magic Duels. It's been a while since I've been here in the Magic Duels, uh, and the last time we took on the Battle for Zendikar story. And finally, after a rather aggravating encounter, we were able to get through it. But now, now we have left Zendikar behind and find ourselves on the mysterious Innistrad. Things aren't quite right, and it's up to us to figure out exactly what's gone wrong. So, we are going to dive right in to the Shadows Over Innistrad story mode here in Magic Duels. Let's get started. Among Innistrad's dark mountains, Jace Bellerin begins his search in the one place on the plane that he knows the home of his ally, Liliana Vess. But his path is fraught with danger, and Jace soon finds a cold welcome at the hands of a pack of werewolves. Dun dun dun! Well, we get to start off playing as Jace here. What do we got? One land, two land, and a wall. Okay. Now, ordinarily, I wouldn't keep with only two lands in hand, but this game is kind of finicky at times, so... Well, well, see, there's the third. That's fine. Can't do anything. End step, go. So I have actually been playing uh, Shadows Over Innistrad a bit. When a double face card transforms, it turns over so that its other face is visible. This may give the card different abilities and a different power and toughness. Cool beans. For instance, our dear friend the Village Ironsmith is a 1-1-4-1 one, one, one in a red with first strike. The beginning of each upkeep, if no spells were cast last turn, transform him. Ooh, flip it. He becomes Iron Fang. A 3-1 with first strike. That's interesting. Hmm, looking forward to getting in on that. The double face cards are sort of an in, sort of an Innistrad staple, and I have to say they are very interesting. All right, so what do we got here? Look at the top three cards of my library. Eh, not yet. Target creature, nope. Fog bank. Now this is interesting. I've never actually seen an, a zero two defender with flying. Prevent all combat damage that would be dealt to and dealt by Fogbank. Huh. I want that. They have done a very big update in the way that uh, Magic Duels works. You'll notice that now, instead of moving out into the center area when a card is cast, it moves over here. That's to kind of keep everything lined up, if you will. Okay. See something over here. Now, what happened here? Halpack Wolf, 3-3 three, three for 2 and a red. Can't block unless you control another wolf or werewolf. All right. Uh -huh. All right, so on my turn, play a land. And what do I want here? Skulk. Skulk is a neat ability, uh, brand new to Shadows of Innistrad. This creature cannot be blocked by creatures with greater power. So... If it's got three man, if it's if it's uh, got three power, which is the first number, you can't block this guy. When it deals combat damage to a player, transform it. All right, let's get you out there. Let's get some creatures on the field, other than Fog Bank. You know what I mean. So ordinarily, I am a player of the white cards. I love white and all of the fun things it does. Um, so, when it came time for me to get my intro pack, uh, Tormented Pariah, right? Oh, I love these because it, it just takes this picture, same background, and oops, this guy here, eaten. Just, just flat eaten. 
Uh, land first. What are we going to do here? So claustrophobia keeps a creature tapped. Can't block unless you control another. So he's a 3-3. He's a three, three. Uh, three, two, and he becomes a 6-4, huh? I'm going to hold on to Claustrophobia, maybe for something particularly nasty. Um, let me see, let me see. When it becomes the target... Uh, hmm. Alright, let's get another Geist out. Because I get the strangest feeling getting some blocks, some attacks out here is going to be useful. Go! Nobody's going to block it, I don't think. Which means that it's going to deal two damage, and then it should transform. Yes. Now, my uninvited geist has become... Get, get, get over here. Hold, hold on. We're going to just pause for a second. Look at this guy. An unimpeded trespasser can't be blocked. It's for 3-3. Three, three. I need to get some of these because the intro pack that I chose was um, the white-blue. Um, I forget exactly what it was called. But it mostly deals with spirits. Which is interesting because you know, it's not... I always feel like the intro packs are missing some key cards that would make them absolutely dangerous. So what do I want to do here? Jace's Scrutiny, minus four, minus zero, and Investigate, or maybe lock something away. What is this? It's got First Strike. That's not a big deal. Well, as yet. Another one of these guys, sure. Scrutiny. Telling Time. Top three cards of my library. Put one of them in my hand, one on top, one on bottom. I'm not a blue player. Just flat out. I... I, I <clears throat> blue sometimes confuses me. As a matter of fact, just the other day, um, I played against a friend of mine, the one who actually got me into... Oh. Oh, yeah. Ah, sadness. Oh, well. I think that's all right. I I'm gonna... Disappointed, but oh well. But yeah, I played with the guy who actually got me into uh, Magic the Gathering, and he got to play his new deck against me, which he was excited about. And, uh, let's see, tap target creature, it doesn't untap during its next stay phase. Uh, Tormented Pariah, Halpack Wolf. Okay, so let me think what I want to do here. Let's press for answers this Howl Pack Wolf. Uh, and then we will... Shoot, how do I want to do this? Let's play Telling Time, because I kind of want to see how it works. <laughs> okay. Okay, this one will go into my hand. Uh, this one goes on top of my library, and the other one goes to the bottom. Sure. Play a land. That's funny. Alright, uh, shoot, attack with everything. I'm gonna lose my Phantasmal Dragon, I'm afraid. Just, you know, because as soon as it becomes the target of anything... 
Oh, no. No blocks. Huh. Excellent. I keep trying to say this, but yeah, I, um, I got the, the white-blue deck from Shadows of Innistrad. Oh, dear. Okay, okay. What do I want to do? Block the 3-2. I mean, definitely. Block the 3-2. Um, can't play cards while choosing. Okay, okay. And I got my clue token over here. So here's what I'm going to do. Confirm block, stop timer. Play Jace's Scrutiny on this 3-2. So what that's going to do is block 6 damage. Get me an extra clue token. And then these two... Right, and the zero two blocker. I need to get me some of these. I need to get me some of these real bad. Play the island, because why wouldn't I? Um, so the clue tokens are a new thing, by the way. Some cards will allow you to do something called investigate, which is where uh, you just get a clue token, which is a, a token artifact. And for two mana of any color, two generic mana, sacrifice this artifact, draw a card. So I'm going to sack one, get a card out here, Phantasmal Bear, get him on out there, continue, attack with all and this should be it, unless he's got something to stop me, which I don't think he does. Up, oh, that should be it. Excellent. <laughs> and ten coins from the first story mission. Jace implores Liliana to help him unravel the mystery. She rebuffs him, far more concerned with her own pursuits, of the demons that still held power over her and of the Chain Veil. She points him to Soren's home at Markov Manor, but she offers no other aid. Now, I have actually been reading <clears throat> the story uh, that Magic puts out, boy, I think it's once a week. Uh, and that's kind of not exactly what happened, but we'll let it slide. Uh, if you are interested in reading the entire story for yourself, and I highly recommend you do, uh, this one has... Magic story articles have their issues, but they're generally a good, fun read that kind of give you a little backstory into who these characters that show up on these cards are. Uh, if you are interested, don't go to Wizards on their own because their English story article, sorry, story archives is busted. Go to um, MTG Salvation Wiki, MTG Salvation Wiki, and look for the story articles there. They've got everything lined up nice and clean. Looks good. So uh, that, I think, is everything that I've got for today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I have been and will continue to play Magic the Gathering Shadows over Innistrad and Unravel the Mystery because this is a really cool set. Uh, go out and take a look at some of the cards, some of the, uh, the promo cards that they did. They did a really great sort of uh, spoiler season. But yeah, go take a look at it and uh, go play some Magic. Until next time, thank you guys so much for watching, and take care.